Yeah, this video will help you to understand types of hypothesis and formulation of hypothesis. Here I am considering only the hypothesis which are coming while you are formulating a hypothesis that are very importantly null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. If you are confused with how to formulate null hypothesis, how to decide null and alternative hypothesis, yeah, this video will definitely help you to decide and formulate null and alternative hypothesis. Along with that, I am also going to elaborate about simple and composite hypothesis. Firstly, I will brief on a simple hypothesis. This is very simple when you consider only one variable and study it can be treated as simple hypothesis. So if we go to the meaning of it in the general sense if a hypothesis specifies only one value or if there are more than one value it must be exact value. Either it can be one value or it can be exact value of the population parameter then it is known as simple hypothesis for which let us take a a hypothesis which we formulated in my in earlier video here the motorcycle of certain brand gives the average mileage of 60 km per liter the symbolic form of this hypothesis is mu is equal to 60 km per liter it is an example of simple hypothesis because in this video in this hypothesis they are exactly telling particular motorcycle will give 60 km per per liter of mileage since it's 60 kilometers exact value and only 60 kilometers single value so in either the case this can be considered as simple hypothesis we here uh, we have considered only one value and that too it is a exact value if you want let us have one more example for simple hypothesis the proportion of literates between two groups of people is same here we will consider group 1 and group 2 that is population 1 and population 2 in this case also we can say this is a simple hypothesis because there is exactly they are telling the proportion proportion of literates among two groups that is population 1 and population 2 which means there is exact indication of pop population 1 and 2 so we can say this is a simple hypothesis i hope you are cleared simple hypothesis means in the hypothesis if there is only one value considered under uh, treatment or in that too if that value is exact value then it can be taken as simple hypothesis now let us know then uh, what, uh, what about the composite hypothesis and it is opposite to simple hypothesis where you will consider more than one values and that too there is no exactness in the value they are telling in this case so if a hypothesis specify not just one value if it, if that uh, hypothesis specify only one value it could be treated as simple hypothesis but a range of values as i said you there is no exactness there is a range here you don't know exact point in the range in the population parameter you may assume it is as composite hypothesis so two things are clear in this definition if the hypothesis specifies not just one value which means more than one value uh, but a range of values it means there is no exactness in the values for that let, uh, let us have uh, some hypothesis for you so that you can understand very easily look it in the hypothesis which we formulated earlier the average weight of banana of kerala is greater than 200 kgram so it can be represent symbolically mu is greater than 200 gram it can be treated as composite hypothesis because it does not specify the exact average value of a weight of banana it may be 260 gram 350 gram 400 gram or any other gram but more than 200 gram which means there is a range of values there is no exact value in this hypothesis so this is a composite hypothesis and one more hypothesis you can consider for your study the new medicine is really more effective for controlling blood pressure than old medicine have they given any exact value that the effectiveness of new medicine to old medicine that we can see the symbolical form of this uh, hypothesis that mu1 is greater than mu2 we don't know how much it is greater than how much it is lesser than we don't know exact value there is a range of value which will come to know after we test the hypothesis 
So this kind of hypothesis also can be treated as composite hypothesis. And one, one more hypothesis you can have your for your understanding. The variability in incomes differ in two population. That is variance of one is not equal to variance of two. But truly they, they have not told how much variability is not equal to first variability to second variability. In the two population, there is no exact value regarding variability in the income, which are differing between two population. So this kind of hypothesis we can consider as composite hypothesis. Even though there are too many hypotheses which we will study, such as working hypothesis, statistical hypothesis, logical hypothesis and so many things here I am consider, uh, considering only the hypothesis which will affect while you are formulating the hypothesis. So then very importantly let us move to the next stage that is a uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So null and alternative hypothesis are quite different than the simple and composite hypothesis where you cannot directly find what is null hypothesis what is alternative hypothesis it will come to know only after formulating those hypotheses so firstly in null and alternative hypothesis we have to identify the claim or statement to be tested and write it in symbolical form after finding claim or identifying the claim we write the complement or opposite of the claim or statement in the symbolic form. In our motorcycle example, the motorcycle of certain brand gives the average mileage of 60 km per liter. Here we, are, we have written it in the symbolic form that mu is equal to 60 km per liter. This is claim, this is a statement we have to claim it. Once we identify the claim or statement, we have to write the opposite or complement of it. As I said you the claim is mu is equal to 60 km then its complement will be mu is not equal to 60 km per liter. That is so simple as you know. Once we have to identify the claim a statement after identifying the claim a statement you have to write complement of the statement or else opposite statement to the given statement. Here just what I have done here. So climb is mu is equal to 60 km per liter and complement is mu is not equal to 60 km per liter. And if you take the banana example, the average weight of banana of Kerala is greater than 200 gram. Here climb is mu is greater than 200 gram, which is in the symbolic form. First we have to write the complement of it. Since mu is equal to greater than say 200 gram, then complement of it would be mu is lesser than or equal to 200 gram. So here if the claim is mu is equal to lesser than or equal, lesser than 200 gram, then its complement would be greater than or equal to 200 gram. In our claim, mu is equal, mu is lay greater than 200 gram, then our complement becomes mu is lesser than or equal to 200 gram. If the claim is, claim was lesser than 200 gram, then our complement would be mu is greater than or equal to 200 gram. Just we are doing the opposite version of the given claim. What it means is we write the we state null and alternative hypothesis in such a way that they have to cover all possibilities of the value of population parameter. So if we assume the motorcycle of certain brand gives um, average mileage of 60 km, the opposite possibility for this is mu is, is not equal to 60 km. So in null and alternative hypothesis, we try to cover all possibilities of value of proportion uh, population parameter. So firstly, what we want to do, we have to identify the claim or statement just be done here and after identifying the claim or statement, write the complement of it. Then let us go what should we do in the next after identifying the claim and writing its complement. Once we identify the claim and return its complement, we have to decide null and alternative hypothesis. So in this case, we will decide what is null hypothesis, what is not null hypothesis, which means alternative hypothesis. The thumb rule to decide what is null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, very important. This is a thumb rule. 
द स्टेटमेंट कंटाइनिंग इक्वालिटी इन द नल हाइपोथेसिस विच स्टेटमेंट कंटाइनिंग इक्वालिटी विल बी द नल हाइपोथेसिस द स्टेटमेंट विच डस नॉट कंटाइन इन इक्वालिटी विच कुड बी ऑल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथेसिस आफ्टर डिसाइडिंग क्लाइम एंड आफ्टर राइटिंग द ऑपोजिट ऑफ क्लाइम वी विल टेक इक्वालिटी साइन एज नल हाइपोथेसिस इन द सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस and not equal form as alternative hypothesis which means the hypothesis which contains symbols like equals lesser than or equals greater than or equals is taken as null hypothesis very importantly observe here there is a equal sign lesser than or equal to greater than or equal to or only equal to these kind of symbols we will take as null hypothesis then as i said you the hypothesis which does not contain equality that is contain lay great not equal lesser than or greater than is taken as alternative hypothesis only six possibilities are possible in the symbolic form of hypothesis that is equals greater than or equals lesser than or equals or not equal lesser than or greater than these six possibilities are possible in the symbolic form of hypothesis then these three possibilities are alternative hypothesis and these three possibilities are null hypothesis after having basics on null and alternative hypothesis now let us know the meaning of null and alternative hypothesis unless we have basics we cannot understand how to define the null and alternative hypothesis so it is a right time so getting to previous professor r a fisher he is a great prominent person in statistics he says as null hypothesis is a hypothesis which is tested for possible rejection under the assumption that is true he says null hypothesis made to reject possibly to reject the hypothesis we have formulate the null hypothesis and about alternative hypothesis the hypothesis which is complement to null hypothesis is called alternative hypothesis simply the alternative hypothesis is alternative to null hypothesis null mean is in the sense there is a empty since which is made for rejection which can, we can indicated by empty and for the alternative for the null hypothesis we will have some alternative which means which is a composite complement so that is about alternative hypothesis in the rarest case we will accept null hypothesis that is why r a fisher says null hypothesis is a possible rejection under assumption that is true so null hypothesis and and alternative hypothesis mutually contradictory in nature as i said you with null and alternative hypothesis we will try to cover all aspect of population parameter for that purpose it must be in a complementary or contradictory in nature so now let us formulate hypothesis for, for null and alternative then so to formulate hypothesis i will consider some of the statement the again i will consider the motorcycle uh, statement the motorcycle of certain brand gives the average mileage of 60 km per liter and here i have expressed this in a symbolical here as we know the climb is mu is equal to 60 km and its complement is mu is not equal to 60 km now we have to de decide which one is null hypothesis and which one is alternative hypothesis since climb climb is mu is equal to 60 km since since climb contains equality sign we take it as null hypothesis so we will consider mu is equal to 60 as null hypothesis because this climb contains equality sign and complement mu is not equal to 60 km as an alternative hypothesis because here mu is equal to, is not equal to 60 is not contain equality sign so we will consider mu is not equal to 60 km as complement of uh, null hypothesis in the sense it is a alternative hypothesis and mu is equal to 60 km is a null hypothesis again i am saying you i am following a thumb rule the thumb rule says the hypothesis containing equality sign that is equals to lesser than or equal to greater than or equal to can be taken as null hypothesis and the hypothesis which does not contain equality sign we will take as alternative hypothesis so in this case i have considered mu is equal to 60 km uh, as null hypothesis 
so then we can symbolically express this hypothesis as mu mu h was is a null hypothesis h naught h naught is mu is equal to 60 kilometer per per liter and h1 h1 or h a can be indicated as alternative hypothesis h1 is mu is not equal to 60 kilometer per liter so h naught is mu is equal to 60 kilometer per per liter h naught is uh, mu is not equal to 60 kilometer per per liter so this is how we will make a null and alternative hypothesis now let us explore some more example on null and alternative hypothesis so again we will explore uh, we will formulate null and alternative hypothesis in this case for that i will consider one more uh, statement the average weight of banana of kerala is greater than 200 gram so symbolically it can be expressed as mu is greater than uh, greater than 200 gram and climb the thing which uh, which i have expressed symbolically which becomes climb for our statement so climb is mu is uh, mu is greater than 200 gram and its complement opposite version of this is mu is lesser than or equal to 200 gram here null hypothesis in the sense climb does not have equality sign whereas complement does contain equality sign since complement contains lesser than or equal to mu is lesser than or equal to 200 gram as we know which contains a equality sign we take complement as null hypothesis in this case and claim as alternative hypothesis so our claim is mu is greater than 200 gram complement is mu is lesser than or equal to 200 gram so complement in this case contain equality sign we will take complement as null hypothesis and claim as alternative hypothesis so you can look at uh, the final version of this so h naught equals to mu lesser than or equal to 200 gram h1 which means alternative hypothesis is mu greater than 200 gram you should uh, keep in your mind in the null hypothesis must there must be equality sign whether it is equal lesser than or equal greater than or equal whatever there must be equality sign I hope by now you are cleared than how to formulate null and alternative hypothesis. This is the easiest way to formulate null and alternative hypothesis. Please do subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel for further more videos on statistics. Thank you so much.